Do I look at you or do I look at the camera? <laughs> so, can I get some water? <laughs> so, growing up, whenever I was going through a rough patch or I wasn't in the right place, my mom was always there to tell me, we're in this life to be happy. Always try to turn the negative things into a positive thing. And so I always try to keep that in mind and always present with me and apply that in all situations, whether I'm at home, at school, at work, anywhere. I feel like in order to be truly happy, you got to genuinely love and be happy with yourself first. Like if you're still in that phase where you say, I don't know who I am, or you're still trying to figure yourself out, then Go out and explore, try new things, go to new places, and figure out what makes you happy. Um, it can get hard sometimes though, but you really can't be hard on yourself because you know you're trying to be the best you can be and that's all you can do. At the end of the day, being happy doesn't mean that everything is perfect. My name is Melissa Saldana and I'm 19 years old. I can't sit here and say that I've experienced life. I'm only 19. I'm not even halfway through life yet. <laughs> Just as most 19 year olds, I don't have my whole life figured out yet. But as long as I've got God and my family with me, helping me through the journey, then I have nothing to worry about and I'm happy. Working on myself makes me happy and confident. I always try to work on my confidence every day and it's different each time like how I do my makeup that day or working out, you know? I think that's something important for everyone to do. But there's a difference between being confident and being full of yourself. And a lot of people get those mixed up a lot. I think self-love is very important. And I know that being confident for most people is easier said than done, but it doesn't hurt to try and you'll end up seeing that at the end of the day, the only person you should be impressing is yourself. You're your only competition and you learn from your mistakes and you can only get better and grow as a person. Exploring and visiting new places makes me happy. Um, traveling is something I aspire to do when I'm older. Once I have a career and I can pay my bills and everything, then I'll be able to travel wherever I want. <laughs> but. Yeah, I love traveling, and I'm not sure if going to different cities is considered traveling, but I do go out to a lot of different cities and I go to new places. I don't care how long it takes me, but one of my goals is to visit every single state. <laughs> I'm like, every single state. Any weather makes me happy. It's the best type of weather, period. Everything's better when there's rain. When the weather is rainy, wait, you know, <laughs> or just laying in bed next to the window here in the rain pour and thinking about life and the future. Food! <laughs> food makes me happy, I can't forget about food. Um, my favorite thing to cook is spaghetti, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to make spaghetti, it's not rocket science. <laughs> and my grandma, oh my god, like, my grandma makes the best rice like the texture and the taste dude it's like spot on like it's perfect my friends make me happy um you guys already you guys already know who you are so it's always good to have them around and i'm very grateful for them i guess i guess coffee makes me happy <laughs> i was never a coffee person at all until i started or until i worked at starbucks i was I was slowly transforming from like a basic Starbucks drink to an almond milk iced vanilla latte with four shots. <laughs> um, after that brainwash happened at Starbucks, um, I started going to different coffee shops and trying new coffee from different places and it was great. Um, not all coffee tastes the same. <laughs> Some people may be like, chill, it's not that deep, it's just coffee. But no, okay? Like, it's not just coffee. Like, shout out to, shout out to all the baristas. Y'all already know how it is. <laughs> Most of the people who know me would say that I'm a very shy person at first. 
which is true I guess but it doesn't take me that long to get comfortable and come out of my shell if you will I would say that I'm outgoing I can be crazy in a good way I'm very straightforward but I don't come off in a rude way I think I'm funny I guess and oh yeah I guess to conclude this or wrap this up I would say that staying positive doesn't mean you have to be happy all the time it means that even on hard days you know that there are better ones coming 